guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to apologise now for the echo because I'm in my new house and I wanted to film just an empty house tour. And it's not fully empty because I've started putting stuff in here already but I won't be actually moving in for a couple of weeks just because I need to decorate it before I, I can make it at home. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just show you it all now. So you'll understand what I mean when I say I need to decorate it because grey in quite an enclosed hallway just isn't going to do. But this is the front door and it leads straight onto the stairs. I have a downstairs sort of cupboard. I think it's got a few like gas meters or something in. Um, I haven't actually properly looked myself. Um, I then got a downstairs cupboard which will store my hoover and things like that and then I've got a door onto the kitchen um which I more than likely won't be using so uh, well not in the conventional way anyway then as you walk straight through well you walk straight through into the living room and it's got a lovely big window and yeah super happy with it love it um obviously needs decorating and I need to put floor in and I've already got some of my decorating stuff um, you then walk through and this is the kitchen that's my fridge I obviously need to put all my other appliances in um, but yeah this is a lovely size I'm well happy with it and I th probably gonna put the kitchen table along this wall I'll figure it out somehow <laughs> um, but yeah we are in the process of taking all this wallpaper down I've got a different wallpaper which is much nicer um, I don't know, I just kind of wanted a feature wall along my table wall. And then this is the back door to, well, obviously the garden. And you step out, you got your shed here, and I'm not gonna really go out too much, but I've just put a picnic bench out here. These are my flowers that I had, and a little bench just outside the back door for when you wanna come in and just, well, you wanna just have a cup of tea outside. I'll lock all of that. So going back through. Now obviously it's going to be really creaky and I won't let you hear it all. But I need carpet to stop it. But yeah. So as soon as you come upstairs I have two cupboards. This one has the boiler in. Then have another cupboard which... I'm going to massively decorate because there's a lot of cobwebs and stuff and boxing and stuff like that and this will more than likely be Dan's wardrobe it's just a good size and I've got no other reason for it <laughs> so then you walk in and this is Lilith's bedroom which is a really nice size big window which I love uh, needs decorating because Brown's just not a nice colour. But yeah, so it's a really good size. I'll come from the door. And so she's going to have a lot of fun in here. She'll have loads of toys. This is my bedroom and it's a bright bloody yellow, which is minging, but obviously I'm decorating. This side is probably going to be where I keep my wardrobe up on that corner and my desk, which I need to order in this corner. And then a big window again, and this will be where my bed is. So I'll have it in the centre of the wall. I think my bedside units are going to be too big to go next to it, but I have two drawers, um, two like tall boy drawers, which I'm going to put either side, which will fit then really well. But it's a gorgeous size, it's so much bigger than the other one. And the layout's just going to be so much better. I love love this room and i love all the windows in this house because it lets so much light in uh, what's really odd about this is the toilet and bathroom are separated but that's fine that's good i think um but yeah just a standard toilet and then a bathroom which is slightly on the smaller side um but you don't really spend too much time in a bathroom so so i'm probably gonna make this house tour into kind of like a vlog as well um, 
because I got my keys at 10 o'clock this morning and I had every intention of vlogging all day but stuff happened and I started moving stuff before I intended and I was thinking I was going to um, but that's fine I have just gone back to the flat where me and Dan live and taken measurements of the bed and drawers and bedside units and sofas and stuff like that to make sure things go where I want um, but my boyfriend loves to play PC games so he needs his full PC setup in the living room um, that's probably the best place for it to all go and I've just been trying to decide where things are gonna go because I, I want it to work really well for my family so at the moment I'm stuck between putting the sofa on this wall um, it will fit on this wall, it's quite a big sofa and then having Dan's PC all up in that corner um, but then he's really worried about the radiator and having everything touching and heat and stuff um, my second option is to put the TV, the TV regardless is going to have to go down in this unit because I've got the TV socket down there um, and then having Dan's PC up on this wall um, he's got a really nice corner desk setup thing um, and then putting my sofa along this wall and the radiator then won't bother me too much um, I'm just trying to figure out really what will work best for us as a family I've also got two massive black chairs which I need to try and find a home for but if Dan's PC goes in this corner then one can go behind here and I can probably put one on the window which I think would be quite nice um, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it but how nice is it to have such a big window in a living room like it just makes it so bright all the time it's lovely um, since I showed you everywhere I've also moved in a lot of boxes um, and so I just have like my tea coffee and sugar jars and utensils and plates and stuff like that and I've also got some basics for while we decorate so like bog roll a few lunches which will be quick and easy and I've also got the essentials which I will sort out tomorrow um, but yeah I'm probably going to end this video here again um, because I can't see me doing much more today um, because obviously I have a little girl to look after and I need dinner and you know that it all takes time and honestly I'm knackered so my mind's just constantly going at the moment trying to figure everything out so but yeah I'm gonna head out now and I think that will be everything I feel like I've left my tape measure upstairs but who cares so yeah home I go I've cooked them and have them as a snack and now I just want more and so I'm probably gonna do curly fries with maybe some uh, fresh chicken drumsticks and some coleslaw but like I said I ain't got a clue how to cook this so it shall be interesting
I realised that I never actually finished my video yesterday, like the vlog, and I'm starting it now at five past five, so like five past five the next day. Um, I've been really busy today, we've been doing a lot of the housework, my mum my mom loves decorating so she's been doing all the decorating I've been doing the organizing and cleaning and stuff like that and tea making um, so I've been doing that I've also managed to go to the doctors ring the bank change my address stuff like that and currently I'm at Tesco I've got a baby in the back and I think she's getting a bit angry um, because we're just sat here but I'm at Tesco about to get dinner and honestly I'm not hungry so I'm probably gonna end up eating absolute crap again but yeah I've just got to get her out of the car and we'll be going in is done and what you've just seen is actually probably what I'm going to eat over the course of this evening which is incredibly unhealthy <laughs> when I was organizing the house today um, I've realized that I don't have as many storage tubs as I want so I'm probably within the next week or so gonna head to Poundland which will then result in a Poundland haul because I don't just go into Poundland for one thing I always come out with more than what I intended to get so yeah we're gonna probably just head back to the flat now have a little chill out for a bit and I'll probably end up going back around the house later because my mum's going back around as well just to do the wallpapering there's a wall that needs wallpapering then the kitchen will be completely done which is amazing because we've only been in decorating for one day um, but yeah I'm so thankful and grateful to have a mum that likes decorating I hate this time of day because there's just always an unnecessary amount of traffic and I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea <laughs> Shut it! 
So we've just left the house now and I've tried to film little clips just to show you the progress that's actually being made. Um, but it's, it's gone 10 o'clock, no, it's half nine. It's 25 to 10, maybe. Um, we're on our way home because it's Lily's feeding time and um, I only brought enough for one bottle with me and me and my mum uh, just decided it was time to finish everything up and just come back to it tomorrow. We don't want to do too much and tire ourselves out and just end up making mistakes because this is my home and I don't want to live in a massive mistake. I hope you've enjoyed this vloggy style type of video. I've really been wanting to do these for moving because it's my first house and I'm just super excited about it all. I'm super excited about it all and if you're if you've got any questions about anything just leave them down below. I'm probably what it's just simple decorating I've got an angry baby in the back so she's gonna start crying I can hear her now um, but yeah I, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one bye